All right, Scotty. Pictures suck. Video's better. Let me show you this thing. I'm going to do a walk around on the outside first, and then we'll go inside. It's beautiful. I love this coach. If I was going to buy a travel trailer, this is what I would buy. Um, I think it's built every bit as well as the Jacob products, but for a lot less money. It has full polar package, so it's a full four season. Um, it has electric leveling. I mean, it's just really, really nice. So, do a little walk around the outside. It is pre-prepped for a backup camera. Uh, it has a receiver so you can stick a luggage rack on there. Um, luggage racks typically will hold 500 pounds. You got your two big slides here. And this has an east-west slide with that king bed that you're looking for. And it's residential length. So it's a full 80 inches long. Extra storage here. Has a nice big forward basement storage which you can see is very wide that goes in underneath the bed Schwintech slides very reliable <coughs> and now when I walk you inside ooh, baby are you gonna love this thing and here we go ah, here we go here we go here we go Beautiful island kitchen. That is a king size trifold on the end. All the Arcadias come with these Roman shades, which are great for privacy, and they do a much better job at keeping the heat out. You have uh, wall hugger theater seats here. They're um, they have built-in USBs, power heated massage, has a built-in wireless charger for your cell phone. 5,000 BTU electric fireplace. It's rated to heat 400 square feet, so that will heat the coach. Um, lots of storage, overhead storage. This unit has dual ACs because it's fairly large. One in the main body and then an AC unit in the master bedroom. It has cool stuff like this. Hidden storage behind the TV. It has... This awesome pantry with adjustable shelves, but they also put a plug in here so you can put your coffee maker, toaster, um, any electronic stuff, you know, kitchen amenities that you want. Nice pull out drawers. Lots and lots of drawer storage. Has a full size residential microwave, which is also a convection oven. Yes, that is a wine rack above the microwave has the eight cubic foot gas and electric uh, um, refrigerator. And then like I was talking about, solid, ser solid service countertops. Um, it also has this awesome bar that's built in. Let me get this thing popped up here. There you go. Huge butcher's block. It has this really nice double undermounted sink and then a little squirter just like you'd have at home same deal same deal the butcher's block is real um, except it's bamboo so it's antibacterial and that piece probably weighs five pounds so it's not cheap garbage nice freestanding dinette <coughs> excuse me let me come back over here Oh, uh, I want to point out that the slides are flush fit. Note that there's not a big um, bump where the slides are. So when the slides go out, they actually fit flush. And this is a seven layer bonded floor, no carpet. So take it to the beach. Um, if you do get sand inside, it's super easy to get out. You're, if you have pets, it's not going to smell like pet hair. Extra counter space, more storage, beautiful cabinetry awesome accent lighting over the island and then it's got built-in Wi-Fi um, you can upgrade it to an internet hotspot for about 400 bucks if you put a router in and then you've got this nice big step-in shower and you could be up to about six foot eight and still fit in the shower comfortably 
porcelain toilet with some elbow room, excellent linen storage in the bathroom, solid surface countertop, under storage. I love the wall board that they put in here. It just really gives a lot of uh, class and elegance to the bathroom. Note that all the doors have headers. They're not cheap. This is really awesome. Look at this. Massive king bed. And typically, you would only have the under bed storage, but in this one, they put in real drawers. So you have some place to store more clothing. Your TV mount would be at the foot of the bed, right where it's supposed to be. Big, huge wardrobe closet. And then there's additional storage space underneath the closet in the forward basement. So tons and tons of storage space. Nice, big, tall roof. I'm only 5'9", but 6'3", 6'4", handily without hitting your head. And then more storage here on this side for wardrobe. More storage up above. And it has this awesome little step, not a step stool, but I guess a sitting area. And then they shoe caddied it. Whoops. They shoe caddied it so there's more storage there. So this thing's just freaking awesome. Has the solid steps. I mean, they didn't miss a trick in this, in this coach. It is just so nice and so livable. Um, if you wanted to live in it full-time or you wanted to stay in it for extended periods um, and, and be in a travel trailer, this would be the way to go. And here's the best part. For this type of coach with this kind of equipment, everywhere else you're going to be up a 60 grand um, to get this kind of build quality and this type of equipment and size. Um, here we're at sub 55 grand. So I think the price is a little low. I'd like to see him raise it so I can make a bigger commission. But um, I'm not going to complain because every single one of these I've sold, the customer has been completely happy with it. No complaints after sale. A couple for trim issues, but nothing structural, nothing operational that's going to cause any problems in your um, livability. So I've just been very pleased with this product. We are the exclusive dealer um, in Oregon on the Arcadia product. So I love having it because we're the only ones that got it and it's really, really well built. Like I said, full four season, has heated tank pads, four stair heat system, three inch closed cell foam core to keep cold from coming up through the floor and to maintain the insulation in the underbelly. So even if it gets cold, um, you're not gonna have to worry about your stuff failing. So give me a call. I'll look forward to seeing you and Bonnie here out uh, when you guys get a chance to come out for a visit. But hopefully this gives you a really good visual depiction of what this coach looks like and it was good to hear from you scott it's been a while i'll look forward to seeing you take care brother